What's up, YouTube world? This is Dr. Joey Kramer coming to you live from Hope Chiropractic Center. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a short minute today to walk through a unique process that happens in an upper cervical office. It just so happens that in chiropractic, we have a litany of services that we are able to provide. And oftentimes, in the face of the general public, there's a little bit of confusion because many of you think that a chiropractor is a chiropractor is a chiropractor. And oftentimes, this is not the case. Now, I'm not saying one chiropractic approach is better than the other. However, I am saying that there is a difference in the type of chiropractic care you are seeking. It just so happens that in our office, our job is to focus on autonomic system balance. And for those of you who don't know what your autonomic system is, this is a problem with our education system. Um, it's not uh, your fault, right? This is something I want to get into here today. Um, your autonomics are responsible for coordinating the automatic functions of your body. So you can think about cell waste. You can think about um, going to the restroom, having uh, sexual organ function. You can think about digestion, your kidney function, bowel and bladder, your brain function, your heart, lung. I mean, these are all the things that take place while we don't have to directly take control of it and you know coordinate it and make it work like your liver is another great example of this um, however what happens is that that system for learning purposes is divided into two houses your sympathetic your parasympathetic your fight or flight your rest and digest and oftentimes in the Americas where we are um, typically the people who live over in the sympathetic state which would be about 100% of us because we are heightened exposed to our exposure to stress is heightened to a state to where we never really get to shut that system off giving us a systematic deficit that can lead to a number of symptoms that we experience on a daily basis and this can be you know, uh, listed, but not limited to such things as headaches, thyroid dysfunction, it could be sleep trouble, it could be ADHD, it can be sex dysfunction, it can be a multiple litany of symptoms that you might have. However, with that being said, what our goal is in our practices um, from a upper cervical chiropractor, right? So this is different than traditional care, is to balance your autonomic state. And what we do is that we give an adjustment to where your autonomic system is housed, which is in the first two bones of your neck. And once we give you that adjustment, we have found that if we can give you 20 minutes of rest in a zero gravity environment, it is actually favorable to the balance point of your autonomic state. It does two things that are super important for us in our office. And those two things that it does is it one facilitates autonomic recovery and two it keeps us from adjusting you every single visit you come in the later you get on in care so this is really fascinating with us because at the very beginning we're trying to train your body to respond to an adaptative state we're trying to induce balance into your autonomic system and so we do that through adjustments and through putting you into a zero gravity environment and allowing you to rest for 20 minutes to hopefully teach your body that this new state is really, really good for it, right? And then what'll happen is that magically somewhere around the six to eight week mark, you'll stop being adjusted every visit you come in and see us, more like a once a week basis until we can get you to hold for longer periods of time. And I have to think about this as like um, compounding interest. The more times you get put into the chair, the more rest you get, the more your body spends time in that autonomic balanced state, the better the expression of health you are gonna have over time, which means that you have less sickness, less disease, better quality of life, better sleep, better management of emotions, better overall expression of health, and a happier, more joyful, more wonder expressed in life. And so when we see that take place in your body, it's really amazing because you now have the life that you've always wanted, where you always are you know, sick of being sick. Now you're like, man, I can't remember the last time I was sick. And that's obviously a big contributor to our process, is making sure that you get rest following your adjustment. Because too often what I have seen and other types of more traditional chiropractic offices is you lay down, you get racked and cracked every single which way, and then all of a sudden they send you on your way. They give you a bill and say, hey, we'll see you later. We have found that on the flip side of that equation, if we actually slow down a little bit, we put you into a zero gravity environment. We allow your body to get a little bit of rest 
in a day and age where chaos is our normal, you actually start to return to a state of health. And you find that you're experiencing life at a much better quality than what you have been in the past. I hope this clarifies some questions that you guys might have about the upper cervical process and why we incorporate rest into our procedure when we take care of you. Anyways, if you guys ever have any questions, you can hit us up on here or you can hit us up on Instagram. We're at, at Hope Southlake. Very simple. You guys have a great rest of your day.